Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to tell you the easiest and best way to save money. Let's get started and talk about it. And with that, I'm going to give you four tips. So, the best and easiest way to save money, many folks may say, cut your budget. Cut, 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 cut. And go down and live a bare bones budget. And for some people, that's fabulous. They love doing it. They love the lifestyle. And some people need to do it because they're on a lower income. Everyone's different, not a one size fits all. But if you don't want to do that, or you're making a little extra more money, what is the easiest and best way to save money? The number one easiest, best way is to go through your budget, non-essential and essential ways that you're spending money. So your bills, food, entertainment, everything, insurances, and ask yourself, what are you getting value from? What, how do you feel about the money you're spending for these particular products you're using? If you find that there's some things that you're not pleased with, you may want to do some research and either replace it with something else, or you may feel like you're not getting good value. An example would be, let's say that you haven't been happy with the gym you're going to, and they've made some changes. Well, Maybe you find some exercise videos at home and that's something you can eliminate from your budget. Or maybe you find a better gym. Look through and ask yourself what is bringing you value and what isn't. Now let's just be honest. There are some items that maybe we're all required to keep that might not be bringing us value. And I'll be honest, as a frugal person, I know one area that I can definitely improve on is research. I can spend much more time doing research on all areas of frugality and all areas I'm spending money. But ask yourself what's bringing you value and what's not. And if something isn't bringing you value, you can either eliminate it, you can maybe change to a different product, but make sure to always do your research to fit what your lifestyle is. So that is my view on that. And I'm gonna give you one little example. I've had many people say, Dawn, you should sw switch your cell phone and your cell phone provider. I know there's lots of wonderful cell phone providers out there. Some people do have switched to a less costly one. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm really pleased with the service. I like being able to go to a brick and mortar store if I need help. I get excellent customer service. So for me, I'm paying for value and I'm happy. Someone else may say, no, I want to pay less and I don't need to go to a brick and mortar store. So each of us are different. So see what you're getting paid value. So I wrote down my four tips. Number one, look to see what you're getting value from and what you're not. I think many of us spend money out of obligation and that can always backfire. Hey, I know I've spent money and I've even kept services out of obligation. No longer in 2024 am I doing that. So, and I am actually now, I'm gonna be doing this at least twice a year, probably three times a year, looking over my budget and seeing if I can tweak and make improvements. Okay, number two, and I've been doing this weekly, even though it might not look like it, decluttering areas of your home and going through, it's gonna show you what you have, what you don't need to buy, and what you haven't used for a long time. You can reintroduce it into your life and start using it again, and if you find you're not doing that, then you can re-gift that to someone that might be able to use it. One thing that I've been really good about doing is I have been rotating my closet. That way I wear everything. So I'm getting good value for my clothes because I'm wearing everything. Okay, number three, ask for a discount or maybe haggle and see if you can get a discount. If you see something that maybe has a banged up box or something that maybe you've seen on the shelf for a long time and it's not moving, you could always ask for a discount. The worst they can say is no, and then you make a decision whether you want that. And this is only if it's something that you use. I used to just buy things just because they were on clearance. That's n not a good use of money, spending money. I used to go garage sale shopping and thrift store shopping and, and even just regular shopping and buy items because they were on clearance or a deep discount. And I had no use for those things. And some of those things I wasted. So I'd rather spend a little more and actually use the product. And number four, I've been really good about doing this. And if I didn't, I'd be spending a lot more money. If there's something you want, wait at least good 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, and see how you feel and if you still want that item. I guarantee you, usually, I'm going to say over 90% of that time, you won't want that item. 
So these are some ways that I feel that we can really save money and still have a really good, wonderful, abundant life. If we really value how we're spending our money and we're utilizing everything in our home from food and non-food items, I honestly think that we'll be spending less, saving more, and getting better quality in our life. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think is the number one way to save money? I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.